Hey guys, Pitermic Whiskey here and welcome to Let's Play Civilization 6 Japan on the island plates Emperor and Chill. Now we're only playing on Emperor, but that's not a big deal. Because like I said, it's just an Emperor and Chill game. We're here to have a little bit of fun and not worry too much about uh, playing efficiently or doing anything crazy. Uh, it's been a couple days since I played actually, so I'm going to have to try and get my head back into the game now. Here is Porto Portoleza? Portozella? I don't know, I think I was going to rename that, wasn't I? I think I did. It used to be Puerto Zella, so now it's Puerto Zella. This city doesn't really have enough production for it to be relevant for anything except for just getting more production. So why don't you repair your granary and see what you can do. Uh, I could pick up these settlers. And... Do I have a unit nearby that could do it? I did have a chariot knocking about somewhere. But my memory of where my units might be is a little shaky. Why don't you go over there, grab that settler, and we may as well use it. I mean, there's no reason not to. Uh, we have Rio under siege. We're about to take it, I think, so we're going to pop it off here. Oh, here's the knight. We'll do a little bit of shooting. About to level up. Well, pretty close here. Uh, I think we'll hit with the pikeman and then with the knight, and that should kill it. Excellent. So our progress towards opera and ballet has advanced considerably. And what was the boost for opera and ballet? Uh, in here somewhere. Opera and ballet. Oh, here it is. Build an art museum. Well, I didn't do that. I stole one. We're going to rest these guys up. Is that Brazil now taken out of the game? No. Wait, you're still in the game? I thought I took, killed all your cities. Where is your city, Sumeria? Oh, right, this city. Now oh, that makes sense. Where are you? Make your way over here. This is, this, we'll, we'll kill them pretty soon. So where is Brazil, the last city? Ah, Manuels. Let's see, where is the frigate? What is the fastest way over there? Wow, it is perfectly on the opposite side of the world. It's going to take me at least 11 turns to get over there. I suppose it's probably reasonable for me to take this ship. And then these two ships can make... And then these ships can also make their way over there too. Okay, keep city. Yeah, we're going to keep the city. We don't want to throw cities away. And you're also going to just do a lot of repairing until I have uh, fully sorted you out. Let's see here. So we have to finish off Sumeria, and we have to finish off Brazil. I guess I, I guess next time I should scout the enemy cities and, and look ahead of time. Um, there's... Hmm. I would like to settle for these pearls, but I don't know if there's even a spot. I could settle on the sugar. Do I have sugar? I do have sugar. But I could get more. How do you feel about trading? No. No, 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 no. We're murdering. Okay, so what are we doing here? I think I could use more traders. We're making units in a lot of our cities. That's good. I think anything under 10 turns is a good time to build a unit. Anything over 10 turns, and that's a bit much. Uh... I mean, I guess we could kill some of these city-states also, just for the fun of it. Um, I'm at war with Mohendaro, and where's Nan Madol? It's all the way over there. We've got to think, who's our next target? Probably France. France looks weak and easy. Um, yeah, France is definitely weak and easy, so we can definitely take on France. So let's get our ships heading on over there. Take on the weakest. Snowball our way to the top. Give an all slam here. Get up onto that hill. We're going to send this trader to Kyoto Works. Yeah, that's, that's fine. We just wanted to get the city up and running a little bit quicker. That should take 12 turns for a... 12 turns for a monument. That is a hell of a long time. Okay, unit needs orders. Uh, okay, you're also going to make your way over here towards France. 
he just wants me to give him truffles. No, what? You'll screw yourself. Didn't I declare war on Russia? I don't even remember. He wants to cede me all the cities and make peace. No. Total and utter destruction of your civilization is all that I will accept, Brazil. The purpose of education. Okay, we got education, which is irrelevant to my empire because we don't need no school if we're just killing everyone. Let's kill here. Okay, that should finish Sumeria. Excellent. What treachery? What treachery did this to me? What evil? No. Uh, we captured a unit. It's a builder, and um, we have the city of Desire. Thank you. So now I have eliminated a player from the game, which was the goal. So can you build any units in less than 10 turns? No. But you are now in a reasonable position to grow and stuff. Uh, so as soon as you hit the next thing, you're going to be getting me an entertainment complex. Although it's going to be quite a while before you do that. Uh, okay, so let's let's have a think here. What are my what are going to be my centralized production cities? I think Kyoto is going to be one. Well, let's have a little look here. We're going to do a little bit of decision making. What are my highest production cities? Um, let, me, let me close all this down, okay? City income. So the five. So here's 10, 15, 17, 11. So Kyoto is going to be one. Urukai is another. I think Gifu. So anything over 15. So Yokohama, Gifu. Kyoto, Shizuoka, and Sendai. Okay, so those are the cities. Now I have to try and remember. So this is a 15 production city, so this is going to be producing units. Uh, so that's going to be the metric. This is a 20 production city, so this is going to be making units also. Now, which unit do I make here? Um, it is a mostly naval map, but I am going to need non-naval units. I think I could use probably maybe... The frigates are really strong but they're going to be hitting their peak soon. What is the latest unit that I have? Uh, currently, field cannon is the best units I have right now, but they are way expensive. So I think I'll, I'll produce some cheaper units like pikemen. Get some pikemen on the field. Pikemen are pretty reasonably good, you know? Uh, here's a city I just captured. Why don't you repair yourself a little bit? We have here a caravel. Why don't we hit these units just to get a bit of experience on the way over to Brazil? And you're also going to be making your way along. Uh, you're going to... You could be upgraded to a field cannon. Do I have that thing slotted in? No, I don't. So that's not going to be what we do for now. But you are going to rest. How close are we to uh, unlocking the ability to make cores? Pretty close. Uh, you're going to be leveling up to strength when defending. Yep. So that you can take shots easier. I'm going to rest up all these units for a little while before we move out. And you're going to be making your way over towards Brazil and France, which is sort of this direction. We have here some interesting things. I think this is the first, um, the first uh, gems we have in our empire. Let me just double check that. Resources. What is it? Diamonds? Yeah, I think we... Oh... Yeah, so this was it. So now we have a little bit more amenities. All right, it's very hard to manage amenities in an empire this big. But we are kind of managing it a little bit. Okay. Kill some more dudes. Unit needs orders. Uh, it's probably a good idea to have a little look to see here. Okay, you are working that, which is fine. We could use a farm, actually, though. Because, no, that's going to be where the campus goes. So I guess it's time to start thinking about your districts. Why not? We'll use pins here. So the, the strategy that I've kind of figured out is you place the pin and then you edit it. So this is going to be the campus and it's going to be a district. That's campus. Um, Harbour, Commerce Hub, Industrial Hub. Yeah, that looks that looks pretty reasonable to me. So, uh, we'll place a pin here, here, and here. 
drop this. So this is going to be the harbor. This is going to be the commerce. This is going to be the industrial. And that's it. Okay, so now I now I know the tiles I can improve. I would like to get rid of this tile. This tile is going to be... This tile is not great, but I'll live with it. Um, that's what I will do. We're going to place a mine there. Because why not? And let's have a look. Okay. I would like to cover up some more of these with other tiles, but we'll, we'll look into that in the future. We might just throw forest on that. All right, we have a bombard. Um, we're going to need bombards to deal with who? We have Poland. We have Russia. So who do we go for first? I think Poland is mostly coastal, so we could actually send our... Uh, we could get our army building up in Kish Kish Bang Bang. So why don't you make your way over to Kish Kish, Kish, Kish Bang Bang. And we've got more ships to move. Keep on scooching, keep on scooching, which doesn't doesn't sound very pleasant. Uh, to be scooched. To scooch or to not scooch? That is the question. Okay, let's have a little look here. Couple of... this one's improved. This one is not improved, so let's have a little bit of a womp womp over there and can you improve that now the question is do we chop here and i think i think we keep the forest yeah you know this is this is a pretty cool tile and then we'll uh we'll probably maybe maybe we'll chop this we'll see we'll see if we chop this although we could do a triangle of farms which would be crazy um yeah i think we'll do a triangle of farms actually do i have the builder policy slotted in nope Soon though, soon. I need to need I need to remember not to build any builders until I have it. So you're gonna want to head back here and shoot that guy. That should kill. Excellent. Now we have Osaka here. Osaka has twelve production, which isn't quite enough to uh, to act as a production center. So how about you grab me an arena? The amenity is not much, but it is something. So 12 production will do for now. Uh, are there any... Valletta. I, if, if I had, maybe I could do something with encampments. So I'll send one over there. Uh, I'm, they're my, I'm their suzerain. They're not my suzerain. Ooh, encampment can be bought with faith. Cool. In fact, I think you have an encampment. Let me see here. Are there any cities without an encampment? Osaka actually does have an encampment. You could probably produce units with a bit of speed now. Let me have a look. Let's see if I can reset the production. So yeah, you're getting plus two. So you're almost at the point where you're useful. Um, if I were to purchase an armory here, though, with faith... And they're quite cheap with faith. You would definitely have enough production to maybe build some units. Uh, the Colosseum will be good. We also do need that arena. You don't quite have enough production though. So why don't you grab me that arena in 10 turns. Um, We have here a holy site. Do we care? I don't think that we do. But there's not really much else choice that I have. I could build a lighthouse, but it doesn't need housing. It will need housing, though, soon-ish. So that doesn't seem too unreasonable to do that. We have Rio. 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 That song will forever be embedded somewhere in my cranium. Well, not my cranium, but inside my mind. Because uh, my nephew and niece were crazy about that Rio movie. And we just sing it all the time. Okay, uh, we're moving this archer also down towards Kish Kish Bang Bang. Turning our way through our units. Now you have one more build left. 
Where are you growing to? That's the question. Are oh, you growing to the copper? That's not ideal. You just sleep there and I'll eventually remember to wake you up. Um, Get up there. Unit needs orders. Next turn. Let's see. He wants to cede all the cities. Nope. Leave me alone. You're too needy. You're asking me questions. I want to be left alone. I need my space. I'm sorry, Brazil. It's just not working out between us. All right, let's go here and shoot the city. And go here. And here. And bring this ship up also. Can we do a little bit of shooting of this guy? Yep, we can. Okay, how much production? You have 16 production, so you should be in the range where you can consider doing a little bit of shenanigans. Why don't you grab me a trader? Uh, how about you have 17 production, and you're about to have a little bit more, because we're going to be sending... Although, I do have my things set up for externals. I think we're going to stick with externals, just to see how it works. Although, we're going full war, so it's probably about time where we got rid of, next turn, these sort of policies that I've been using. Do you have 20 production now? That's pretty decent, but I would like that to come down even further. Um, you could get a campus. That would be okay. Ooh, three production here from this. That would actually be pretty reasonably good if I were to pick that up. Uh, yeah, why don't you grab me that mark, that shipyard, because that's going to help you produce a lot of stuff. Okay, you've got 5.7 production. You just make yourself a granary and grow nice and slow. Uh, we, let's see, Shizuoka, you are past the threshold. Now let's double check this. I want to make sure I have that right. So I want about five high production cities. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I can live with six. So I have six cities currently over... Um, over over 15 production so why don't you send this over to yodo and you should go to yokohama for the extra production and now you have a pretty reasonable and thick strong line of production head to kyoto and you're also going to be doing what you're heading your way over to france because i think we can more or less kill poland uh, as a follow-up to France with these units. We have a knight here. Why don't you make your way also down here to Kish Kish Bang Bang. I would like you to auto-explore, Scout. Thank you. Next turn. Looks like someone stole our science, but we don't, we don't, we don't really care about that too much. It's not particularly relevant to the victory condition. So this is naval unit. Uh, production which is really useful and I think we will actually be taking that will we uh, let's have a look here on the map not the map uh, what are we doing with our cities I don't think we're building many naval units we are so let's uh, let's slot that in we're gonna go change policies and we're going to put in 100% production towards Renaissance and industrial era naval units We're also going to be slotting out the culture and production. And I'm hoping now we can find production from somewhere else. Not really. I guess builder production is okay. It means we can build builders without fear. Two housing would be okay. I really would like some kind of source of amenities. If I could find an amenity thing, that would be nice. This looks all pretty reasonable. Nothing too crazy or out of the ordinary. Gold for envoys at city states. Yeah, I think that's fine. Choose civic. What do we go for here? Additional spy cores or fleets. Yeah, we do want cores and fleets. So I think it's about time we research recorded history in the year 1260 AD. Yep, we want to get urbanization ASAP. Claim great person, which one? A great engineer, wow. Uh, yeah, let's recruit that. And I guess it's probably worth it to... 
run them over here and then drop a no not a petra a where's coliseum Oh, he needs to be on the wonder itself. And then we should just be able to rush out the Colosseum, get those little bit of amenities and stuff, which will help out our empire. Uh, you should make your way over to the France direction. So why don't you spend three turns moving? Okay, see, so I think you just finished making another unit. You did something, and I'm not sure what it is. Uh, you're going to need more stuff. You have a lot of production. You don't have a encampment, though. We could get an encampment. Commerce industrial encampment. Yeah, that seems reasonable. First, we're going to repair the harbor because there is stuff missing from that. Uh, let's see. Oh, there's a bad guy here. Um, What did you just finish? You finished your harbor. Why don't you grab me a trader and send it to another city? Let's see here. What are you doing? You're catching up on your own uselessness. I could grab a lighthouse here. That wouldn't be too crazy. Do you have land that needs improving? Not really. You could use a couple builders soonish, but not right now. You're also occupied, so your like production is shot. Why don't you just make me a why don't you just improve yourself a little bit, make a lighthouse? Uh, Geneva. We're good to great artists. Not going to happen. That can happen. That's not going to happen. Probably not going to happen. I have three envoys. Yes, I could get a maxed out bonus on something. I guess commerce hubs. Get a little bit of commerce hubs would be fine. That should increase our gold, right? We're up to 214. What if I could jigger with a tile thing here? Yeah, we got, we got a little bit of gold out of that. No, that but... About 16 gold out of it, which isn't terrible. We do want to upgrade this unit to a field cannon, but not yet. So why don't you make your way over there? And uh, I think that's actually going to be the end of the episode. I want to thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know I'm having a good time. Uh, if you want to see more episodes of me playing Civilization VI or any other game, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It'll give you notifications about when my new videos come out and all that sort of fun stuff. Please also remember, if you want to directly support my channel, you can leave a like on the video. It increases my rank on YouTube, increases my visibility, and it, you know, it makes me feel good, and it makes you feel good because you're helping me out. Uh, if you want to give me direct feedback about this episode, absolutely go ahead and leave me a comment. I love to read them, I love to get them, and you know what, it's just fun talking to people. So thank you very much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it, but that's it for me, and I'll see you next time.